Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to discuss about the numerical example of Stackelberg model. In my previous video, I discussed Stackelberg model graphically. So now I'm going to discuss it um, numerically. So what what is the objective? Um, in my today, uh, in my previous video, I had discussed when firm A wants to be leader and firm B wants to be follower in a duopoly market, then the outcome is very simple and which is uh, the firm A's output as well as his profit should be greater than the firm B's which is follower obviously. So I'm gonna show it numerically in this video. So the question is given here is the demand and cost functions are given and we are asked to find out the value of P which is price X is output pi is profit when A is leader and B is follower. So when A is leader, then A wants to maximize his profit given the reaction curve of firm B as I discussed earlier in my Stackelberg model video. So the step one should be, we have to find out the reaction curve of firm B, which is nothing but uh, we know how to find it, right? Uh, you can just watch my uh, code note application video. So now profit for firm 2 is given P into X2 minus C2 as we all know total revenue minus total cost and we can uh, just make our equation from this and solve it by uh, we know the first order condition for profit maximizing is del pi by del x equals to 0 so for firm 2 it is also similar so where this we can find out the reaction curve of firm B and now firm A wants to be leader means the question is uh, in this is given in the question when firm A is leader so he's supposed to know the reaction curve of B so now profit for firm 1 should be P into X1 minus C1 and we know the value of P which is this and which is this and to X1 minus C1 breaking the uh, open, opening the bracket we have this uh, equation and now we substitute the value of x2 uh, reaction curve of firm b into this equation and by substituting the value we have arrived to the value of pi1 which is nothing but this and the similar first order condition for of profit maximization for pro, uh, firm 1 so from this uh, we know we get to know about the output of form 1 which is nothing but 93.33 you can calculate it by yourself also so and the profit similarly uh, by putting the value of x1 in profit equation we can find out the profit which is this and by similar process we know how to calculate uh, output of uh, form 2 and uh, profit for form 2 just putting their values in uh, equations okay uh, so by compare now 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 let's just compare it okay so the output and profit for form one is greater than that of form two means for form a it is greater when form a which is leader then the output of leader is 93.33 and for follower it is 26.67 and similar the profit so now hence uh, we prove the statement that when firm A is uh, leader and when firm B is follower then the output and profit of uh, firm A should be greater than the pro output and profit of firm B. In this video if you have any doubt then uh, comment below and let me know about it. Thank you for watching my video.